ever wondered why coffee leaves a stain in the form of a ring? The coffee stain effect, or the coffee ring effect, is the name given to the physical process that caused drops of some solutions to leave a ring-like stain when it dries up. You can see that the edge of coffee stains are darker than the inside. This means that something causes the solute to be separated from the liquid it was dissolved in. This effect is something you don't want to have in processes like dyeing, printing or washing. Of course, you wouldn't want to have your due homework printed in empty letters. The effect is clearly visible when you take a look at it under a microscope. In this footage from the University of Pennsylvania, we can see the coffee ring effect taking place. Then what causes this coffee stain effect? Well, the short answer is, for a liquid drop with a fixed contact line, liquid evaporating from the edge must be replenished by liquid from the center. So let's say we have ourselves a drop on a flat surface whose contact line is fixed, but we'll only look at a slice of our drop along the radius. The fixed contact line means that the radius of our drop is constant. We can also define a function that determines the height of the drop at any point along the radius and the function for the evaporation along the radius of the drop. On the surface of the drop, the evaporation rate is proportional to the surface area. Surface tension will keep the droplet in a sort of spherical shape. This makes the curvature of the drop near the edge steeper than in the middle which then means that the evaporation rate per unit radius is higher near the edge than at the center of the drop. As a result of the evaporation, the height of the drop decreases, but it decreases more near the center of the drop than near the edge, because the radius of the drop has to stay constant. Were it not the case, then our drop would just shrink. Then, for a drop with a fixed contact line, there must be some distance from the center where any larger distance would have the volume of the drop decrease faster than the height of the drop can shrink. To compensate for this, liquid from the center flows outward, keeping the contact line pinned. Along with this flow, the solute, ah, coffee, is carried to the edge of the drop, where after evaporating, the particles get deposited on the surface that the drop used to sit on. Researchers at the University of Chicago tested the theory that this outward flow can carry all the particles to the edge. They found that for a drop with contact angle theta, the outward flow inside the drop is proportional to the evaporation rate, which is in turn proportional to the distance between that boundary we talked about before and the edge of the drop, to the power of this lambda containing the contact angle. The initial mass of the solute past the boundary is proportional to the volume of the wedge-shaped area. All of this mass will be moving towards the edge of the drop with the speed of the outward flow. The time it takes to get there is equal to the distance divided by the flow rate. At time t, the mass that is now at the edge is the same mass that was at point r at time t is zero. This means that the mass at the edge at time t is proportional to t to the power two over one plus lambda. The researchers at the University of Chicago have tested this relation experimentally and they found that the results pretty much agree with the theory. But the coffee stain effect will not happen with all solutions though. For a solution to undergo this effect, it is important that the particles that are dissolved in the solvent are spherical, or are at least able to quickly closely pack together near the droplet surface. In the same set of microscope footage we saw earlier, we can see that the more elongated particles clump together more easily and disrupt the flow. Now you know why coffee stains leave a ring at its edge. An outward flow from inside the droplet compensates for the rapidly decreasing height near the edge, carrying the coffee along with it. The effect might not be so interesting for your coffee, but it is great to know about when you're making paints or inks. Well, at least now, there's no use crying over spilled coffee. <laughs>